Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. Um, so today's topic is going to be um, is active relationship languages. Okay, so basically we already defined what relationships are. Um, relationship is basically the um, way two or more people communicate or deal with each other. So when we're talking about relationship languages, we basically we also want to look at um, the meaning of um, <laughs> languages. So language is a process of communication between two or more people. Um, without understanding, communication cannot take place. So um, we're still we're also going to look at the meaning of communication. Communication is um, the passing of messages you know, from um, an individual to another, from a person to a group of person, from one group of people to another group of people. So looking at some um, relationship languages, we want to say that um, relationship language is um, that term or those terms that we use in a relationship. It could be a um, relationship with your family members, relationship with your lovers, relationship with people around you, whatever the case may be. So we're going to sideline or basically we're going to streamline it, let's say that way. We're going to be streamlining it to um, courtship. So in the process of courting, what kind of languages do you use? Um, what kind of languages do you use with the next individual? What kind of languages do you use when issues arise? You know? I would want to take um, a point or two, prayers and affirmations to be precise. So a lot of people pray in their relationship without even knowing it. We have this um, belief that when you want to pray, you basically need to be on your knees or you have to close your eyes and hold your Bible and kabash and all of that as the case may be. But, um, I have come to understand that every word that comes out of our mouth are forms of prayers. Your thoughts are forms of prayers. Your actions are actions as prayers. So, most times in a relationship, we pray um, consciously or unconsciously without our own knowledge. So, um, do you only pray when um, your partner? or when whoever you feel you're in this form of relationship with does something wonderful or Im unimaginable for you do you pray when um, things are rosy oh god bless you you continue to make it in life things will continue to go well for you and all of that do you only say that when things work in your favor what do you say when this individual comes home with nothing what do you say when this individual feels tired of a particular situation? Do you say to him or do you say to her, you will never amount to nothing, nobody will ever want you, you're useless, you're not useful to yourself, neither are you useful to the society? What kind of words do you say? What do you speak? What kind of prayer do you say? Because unconsciously you're praying. So affirmations are emphasis on words. Those words that you emphasize on when you say something a lot, it comes to reality. And then when it starts happening, and be like, God, why? Well, you actually created that reality for yourself. And when you look at yourself and say, Oh, I can never amount to nothing, nothing goes comes out from me, blah 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 blah. You continue in that direction because you don't even see yourself making it in life. So how do you want others to help you make it in life? So basically, our words are very important. They create our realities alongside our actions. Now, what do you do when when you get tired of hearing the same thing? Because whatever you hear a lot contaminates your ear and then you get used to it. When somebody says, oh, you cannot amount to anything and the person says this often, if you're not strong, willed you get used to it. Those are prayers. Those are unintentional prayers, you know. So it gets to a point where everyone gets tired of hearing negative stuff 
but the way people deal with it are different. Some people commit suicide, some people take the bold step and decide to leave that form of relationship that doesn't give them peace of mind. So when they leave those kind of relationships, things start falling in place, things start getting better. And then, oh, they look at it and say, oh, my partner was the problem. Well, basically, I want to think that your partner himself was not just the problem or your partner herself was not just the problem. The main problem starts with the mind and the thoughts. The thoughts of your partner, the minds, the mindset of your partners are the problem. So I want to indulge everybody that it gets to that point where we have to retrain our minds. You have to retrain your minds to speak to speak positively, to do positive, to, to always be optimistic about life and situations. We have to train our minds to work in our favor, you know. So, in that relationship, do you think of yourself alone? When you're thinking of positive thoughts, do you think of yourself alone? Do you think that it should only get better for you? What do you think about your partner? What do you think would come out of your partner? Do you encourage your partner positively? What languages do you use for your partner? Do you pray for him? Do you encourage him? Do you make him want to see beautiful things out of nothing? So um, I want to indulge every one of us to understand the fact that our words are prayers and those emphasized words become affirmations. Those affirmations create our reality. And um, I want to leave us with the note that um, whatever you focus on, in turn focuses on you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.